So you think we gotta wait long for gun confiscation, huh? Gotta wait for them to pass laws. It can't happen in this country. Of course, even the liberal gun owners are gonna say, well, this guy was under investigation. He deserved it. He didn't pay his taxes. So he doesn't deserve guns because he didn't pay his taxes. It's under investigation for smuggling guns into the country. You know, the ones I see the pictures of were antiques. And when they mentioned, well, they didn't have serial numbers, so the law enforcement couldn't trace them. Here comes registration. They have to be able to trace them. Registration. They're going to even... even Innocent people they're going to blame. That's right. Our government is tyrannical. It is. And nobody is willing to run for office to do anything about it. I mean, we got politicians that, career politicians, that spend their life up at Capitol Hill. And that's the only people that the media will support. You watch and see. No, I will get no support. I mean, I get some YouTube stuff, but most everybody says, well, I'll vote for you. They're from out of state, and come day to get in the polling booth, they won't do it anyway, because, you know, you close the door and nobody actually sees what buttons you push. But uh, that's not what this is about. This video clip I've got on here is an uh, Albuquerque gun dealer. Already confiscated. 1,500 guns. That's what, he's a gun dealer. You've got to remember that. He's a dealer. But he had 900 antique ones in his house. I mean, I, ones I seen were lever action, bolt action, old, old military weapons, you know, collections. Had a heck of a nice collection, and the federal government came and took it away. Anyway, I'll be back after the video clip. This 50-page search warrant affidavit spells out what the feds were after, claiming Robert Adams, a licensed gun supplier, was smuggling guns into the U.S. and then selling them. But to who? That's something the feds have yet to learn. I didn't really see the guns except from a distance. I saw them pulling them out into the front yard. Rifles lined up on the lawn, handguns loaded into boxes. It took federal agents days to log every weapon seized into evidence, and it left many wondering what was their neighbor up to. We wanted to know, too. Robert Adams didn't answer. It's scary. It's, um, it's, it's very scary, and the fact that the school is so close by makes it seem even, even more dangerous. Four search warrants filed the day show Homeland Security investigators seized nearly 900 firearms from the Northeast Albuquerque home of Robert Adams, 548 handguns, 317 rifles. They also searched his office that day, taking nearly 600 pistols and revolvers. Neighbors say Adams was a gun collector, and some heard he was a licensed gun seller, too. Federal investigators confirmed that. But they're also investigating him for gun smuggling, tax evasion, and violating importation laws. Court documents reveal federal agents were watching Adams for years and that some documentation was missing to determine who Adams was selling or exporting his firearms to. Also, the firearms were not properly marked. One possible reason was to make the guns more valuable and to avoid paying high import taxes. A bigger concern. No markings or documents mean the guns are not traceable by law enforcement. They cannot be traced at all. Well, hopefully that could change. Adams has not yet been charged, but the investigation is not over yet. Back to you. Okay. Okay. There you go. How'd you like that video? <laughs> the, con the gun confiscation is going to start that way as they get more and more laws to give them more and more power, we have to disassemble the federal government, folks. That's part of the Second Amendment we have to do. If you want to keep the Second Amendment, if you want to keep the Fourth Amendment, the Fifth Amendment, I mean, the only thing they're not doing at this point in time is the Third Amendment. I don't know why they're not encroaching on that one, probably because we don't have troops here yet. Believe me, they, if we, if, it comes down to a, a, a citizen insurrection, they'll trample all over the third, too. Sixth Amendment, the Eighth Amendment, the Tenth Amendment. All those first ten amendments have been infringed on. Of course, the only, only one anybody cares about is the second. 